This music player UI was designed in Canva and in this video I'm going to walk you through all the steps I use so you can also create yours and this tutorial is for anyone who's looking to promote their music or their podcast and to make things very easy I've broken this video down into six sections and each section is going to cover little pieces of the whole design so that it's easy to follow and before we move on to the first step I would highly appreciate if you smash the subscribe button if you're looking for more advanced Canva tutorials so let's jump to the first step which is creating the background So to create the background, we'll first of all come into element and element, all we are simply going to do is to search for gradient, okay? So we'll search for gradient and this time around, we want a video gradient. So I'll go into videos and you can choose any of the ones that suit your style. So I'll right click, set this video as background and we can see we have the video as our background. So the next thing we are going to simply do is to press R on our keyboard to add a shape, okay? A rectangle, make it big, come into colors and change the color to white, okay? Now what we have to do next is to come to border style and make sure you're increasing the corner rounding so i have maybe 15 should be okay all right then i'll you know make it a bit longer so it covers most of the space then what we would want to do next is to duplicate it and make sure it's placed right on top okay and we would decrease the size by pressing alt and shift together and reduce the size okay so we have something like this now after we've done that we want to change you know the color of the first shape so come into color come into add new color and just drop it down a little bit okay so we want something like an off-white okay lovely now if you have to pay attention to this you realize that the spacing over here it looks more than the spacing over here so i'll just want to pull this in a little bit then come to position come to center okay then you can see everything looks good and now that we've done that we can move on to step two which is adding the necessary element and this is what we need to do so to make it very easy we'll start from the top okay so press t on your keyboard okay and just move it to the top somewhere here here. you can just say now playing okay as simple as that and you can change the typeface use any typeface or font of your choice i would go for poppins okay now i'll use the poppins medium i'll make it a little bigger okay so i'll increase the font size to 28 and i think this should be cool i'll make it bold a little bit and making sure it's centered okay so it's centered at the moment then back into element we'll just search for down arrow okay to search for down arrow come to graphics and just click on see or this is the type of arrow you should be looking for okay so just select it and reduce the size okay so this is just going to just collapse the whole app you know if it was a mobile app we're creating that's what it would do okay nice then come back here and search for music list all right so in search for music list you can choose any of the options but i'm going to choose this option <laughs> I'll reduce the size and I'll move it to the top and make sure that you have all of them aligned properly. Okay. Something like this. I feel it's cool and uh, I might reduce this a little bit and make sure it's centered. All right. Awesome. Now that we've done that, we want to add our cover image. So in the cover image, I'll come back into element and just search for maybe nature. Okay. So maybe nature and we'll come to photos. Oh, I rather search for material. So maybe, okay. I'll just change it to umbrella. Okay. B R E L L. A. okay then we have so many ones in here we can choose this i think this would be very cool so i would reduce it and make sure it's a square how you can know this is a square is once you're reducing it you know you'll be seeing the width and the height okay so make sure they are the same so right now the width is 517 i want it to be 551 so which means i have to increase it a little bit 551 by 551 okay then we'll reduce the size like that and center it in here so to make sure it's looking good would come in here to border style and apply some corner rounding to our image and you can see how it's looking at the moment and to be able to find the shadows i'm using check in the description box below for the link to this particular shadow so you can also download it and use it okay so this is what i'm simply going to do so i'll come into my uploads and in uploads this is the shadow i'm going to use so you can see how it's looking and all you need to do is to crop it to the type of shadow you want okay so this is the shadow i want i'll just crop it and bring it somewhere here all right then i will use the size okay and we choose the size over here as well send it to the top a little bit and make sure it's behind the image okay so we see it's now behind the image i would send it to the top more and maybe you can also reduce the transparency if you want just to make it you know minimal all right so this is what we have at the moment the next thing we'll just do is to search for heart okay once you search for heart make sure you're going into graphic there's so many hearts you can choose from and one thing you need to keep in mind is that once you choose maybe um, a particular style of icon 
icon which is the outline type we use in here so you can see this is an outline type of icon it's not failed okay so once we do that it means that every other icon should follow the same style so we are consistent okay so with the hat i'll choose an outline type okay which is this and then um, i can still go through to see if i would find one that is already thick okay yeah you know which has a thick border but you can see we don't have that at the moment so we'll just change the color into you know the same color we are using for all our icons and i would reduce the size so we have something like this and i will just place it here okay and make sure as well align fantastic all right then we are going to add our triple dot icons and the same formula for it so i would press c on my keyboard okay for a shape a circle shape of course then i would come into color and choose the color okay then come into border make sure you're choosing the you know regular border then increase the size a little bit come to the main fill color okay then choose no color and reduce the size okay so once you reduce the size to any size at all you want just duplicate it and arrange them nicely okay so duplicate select all and i'll zoom in or we can simply do is we would you know just align them together and group them nice so once you do that we can just place it here and we can see the border is too thick on them so i'll just come in here and i would reduce it slightly okay nice okay then we would also want to reduce the size more okay so i would reduce the size more on this and have it here so zoom out and make sure you have it aligned beautifully all right after you do that the next thing you'd want to do is to add the title of your song the artist name and the play icons and that's the next thing we are going to be doing okay so this is all you need to do for i will just click on this and duplicate it bring it here so let's say the title of my song is alpha okay male i will just have it here okay and once you have it let's make sure everything is aligned with our text okay so nice over here then we duplicate this bring it in here the artist name i'm just going to use my name so i'll just say african geek okay and i'll select or i wouldn't want to make a boot and um, i would want to use poppins okay so poppins may be light for it okay then i would increase the size make sure it's you know centered let me select this one make sure it's centered so we have something like this okay and i would also want to change the color so the color i'll come into colors and just choose any of this light gray you know for it so that it looks minimal and clean all right so moving on to the play icon the first thing you want to do is to press on your keyboard okay and have it here like this reduce the size okay reduce the size to something like that and um, we would also change the color okay the same color to match every then we would choose another one okay and you can decrease the size like this and have it here another one and we would place it here okay so make sure the intervals are the same then we will just come into element and search for triangle so t-r-i-a-n-g-l-e so triangle we have this triangle come here into border style and add some corner around this okay so i'm using 35 for this then i come into position and rotate it to maybe 90 degrees nice so this is for the play and um, it looks like you know, we would have to keep adjusting this so it looks very good okay so i put it here and i would reduce the side and place it in here and let me just reduce the corner rounding more okay so it makes um, more sense to us okay lovely so make sure everything is looking very clean so i have this one over here okay and once you are finding it difficult to align it you can simply use the arrow keys you have on your keyboard okay yeah then i will duplicate it okay and press l on your keyboard for align okay so maybe click away and press l on your keyboard for align and bring it somewhere down here rotate it to 90 degrees and you can reduce the size of this particular line like i'm doing okay even if you're not getting the shade don't worry we'll just still come here and say 90s okay and we'll come here and increase the line width so it looks beautiful okay so something like this and since we have some corners around our triangle we're going to you know give the line also some corner some round ended point okay then let's change the color to the same as what we have in here so select the two of them and reduce the size okay for the triangle we'll just keep making sure that the corner rounding is making sense okay so select select and 
we will duplicate it using ctrl d okay then come and place this one in here okay and we can see what is happening it's not given it's not making the whole thing look clean all right so we have to just keep adjusting the whole thing nice then i can duplicate just this okay and come into position and just say negative 90 okay and i'll just bring this here we have the same um line in here i'll move it here and i'll delete this okay and make sure everything is centered lovely jaffly all right now this is what we've been able to create the next thing we would want to add is the shuffle and repeat icons okay so to do this come into element and just search for shuffle okay so shuffle uh, we have this i can choose this okay and make sure you're moving it to the bottom okay so the bottom <laughs> all right so you can place it here you know closer to this okay then maybe repeat and i'll select this come why is this happening to me so would you choose the size okay and making sure the sizes are the same and i would drag and drop it here lovely and make sure the color is the same and it's aligned properly and uh, also make sure the color is the same so this is what we have now the next thing we want to do is to add the waves okay the sound waves so that we can give the impression that oh music is playing and all that okay so to do this come in here into element and make sure you are searching for canva original stickers okay so canva original stickers weave and you should get some waves come in to see all and see or what you can simply do is to choose any of the ones you want any of the colors you want i'm going to you know white on white wouldn't work okay so i would come to see all and just for it to mark my background i'm going to choose this all right then i would reduce the size okay and place it here duplicate it and place this one also here okay and what i'm going to simply do is for the second one i would flip it horizontally okay so that we have something like this then i'll drop it down okay and select the two of them and make sure it's centered and getting to the interesting part we are going to be adding our music and to be able to do this let me just wear my headset okay so that i can also hear whatever is going on so i'll simply come into my upload okay come into my upload and um, let me close this up and i'll come to audio i already have my audio uploaded okay so i'll just select and drag into it if you can see it's been added in here it's a double so i'll just delete one of it okay and if we are to play it, this is how it will sound. Hey, I got the recipe, never gonna let any up the best of me. Thought it was distance, but hey, this is next to me. Talk to the spirit, you know I've been okay yeah so one thing i'd want us to tweak a little bit is the corners of this particular side okay so i would want to tweak it a little bit and maybe move this up more okay yeah so let's tweak these ones like this come here and move it here like that okay and we can also you know tweak tweak it to make it look very interesting and we can select everything and group them okay so once we've done this we are now going to create a playlist version of it and all you need to simply do is you just come here choose this duplicate it okay once you duplicate it make sure the audio isn't hitting into the second one okay then select the second one come into the element okay you can basically change the wave okay to the style you want so i will change the color okay and um i will just reduce it like this place this one over here duplicate it and place this one here okay select all and just make sure it's you know it's centered now come back into element okay and go into photos and in photos you can choose any photo at all of your choice to click and drag it into it you can change the name maybe now i would say um good morning okay and i'm the same artist so i will leave it the same and um i will come here and search for gradient okay let me you know, come back into element and search for gradient okay so gradient and what you can do is come into videos and choose another gradient style okay and apply it but make sure what you're choosing is matching you know the whole vibe so i'll choose this and place it in the background okay then i would come into atlas okay in atlas i'm going to search for another song okay so it's one of the platforms i've subscribed to for beautiful music okay so i'll just make sure i'm finding you know, the type of audio i love so i may search for just good morning just to see if i'll find anything of that sort okay 
if you can see good morning love good morning so i will choose this i don't know okay good morning sunshine yeah so let's choose this one okay and mp3 so i'll just make sure i am downloading then you can see it's downloaded very easy and very quick then i'll click and drag it into my canva okay so that i can upload it now that it's uploaded let's try and play the whole thing and let's see how it looks so we'll start from the beginning and let's see what we have Hey, I got the recipe, never gonna let any, I'll be the best of me Thought it was distance, but hey, this is next to me Talk to the spirit, you know I've been Okay, so this is the next song so just in case you're looking to promote your podcast or maybe a music you've just released, I think it's a very cool design you can use to promote it online. And one last thing, just in case you're on the free version of Canva, there's a link in the description box below that can help you to start using Canva Pro for free because Canva recently came up with some updates and you may not know some of the updates are especially for Canva Pro users. And I want you to be part of those enjoying these updates. So check in the description box below and start using Canva Pro for free today. The name is Benjamin. Don't forget there's no limit to creativity and I should see you in my next video.